Hi, I'm Lauren from LSP Actions and I'm going to give you a quick edit overview using the Cherished Dreams Lightroom preset collection. These presets are designed for Lightroom Classic um, desktop version in Creative Cloud. You can use them on earlier versions of Lightroom, you can use them in Lightroom CC and Lightroom Mobile, but they really are best suited for Lightroom Classic. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the presets here. These are the Cherished Dreams Lightroom presets. You will notice they are um, in different sections. You have section one, which is the presets. Section two, perfect the light. Section three, white balance. Section four, little tweaks. And section five, finishing filters. These sections will all work independently of each other to build your image up. These presets are designed for a heavy, warm, cherished feel to your image. They are designed to pull the viewer into your story. You may find you uh, may apply a preset and it looks 99% correct but not quite there so you can simply come over here to the develop panel and tweak the settings even more to suit your image which I would recommend you do. So what I'm going to do is hover over the presets here until I find the one that I think gives me the feel for the image. You may find two or three that work really nicely and you can simply right click the image and create a virtual copy so you can try them out on uh, different versions of your image and see which one you like the best. So I'm hovering over. You notice they are all pretty heavy, pretty warm presets these ones, they don't mess around. I think I like sea breeze there. So now I've selected Sea Breeze, I'm going to scroll down to section 2, which is Perfect the Light. And I'm going to hover over to see if I want to change the lighting at all. Alternatively, you can come up here into the basic panel and you can tweak the lighting yourself. White balance. These will look slightly differently depending on whether you're editing a raw image, a JPEG um, or a TIFF. But they will work. I think I'm going to go for the midday. Again, you can tweak up here in the white balance. So, for example, I may take the temperature down just a little bit. Now we're into the little tweak section. I think I'm going to pull the blacks up just a little bit by clicking on blacks plus one. I may add a little bit of contrast. So like you can see I'm literally hovering over these and then clicking um, when I find one that looks really nice. I think I'm going to bring those highlights up a little bit as well. I really want to draw the eye into this story and this connection here. Vignette. I love using a vignette. Um, they can be overused in certain types of photography but I think for this kind of this sentimental storytelling vibe we're going for I think a vignette is great to draw the eye in. I think I'm just going to go for that little one there. And the finishing filters. These are radial filters, so you can choose one of these and then if you want to, you can click up here on the radial filter option and tweak it further. So I'm just going to hover over these until I find one that I like. I think I like the narrative filter, but what I'm going to do is click on the radial filter and here it feels a little bit lifted, just a bit too much, so I'm going to click on this one. If you don't see these pins, you can click Show Edit Pins Always. You can also show the mask in red if you wanted to. If it comes up red and you're not sure what's going on, you can uncheck that box. So I'm just going to pull these shadows down a little bit. Pop the contrast up, maybe. So we have Before and After. And now I'm going to come onto the brushes and click this line here with the, I don't know why that's the icon for the adjustment brushes, but it is. And it's so long as you've uploaded the uh, Cherished Dreams Lightroom brushes into Lightroom, you will see them here. If you haven't, then you can watch the video of how to do that. So where it says effect, you can click here and choose one of the Cherished Dreams brushes. So I think I'm going to go for the clarity and attention brush to start with. 
I'd recommend making sure your brush flow isn't at 100 because that kind of is like going in full steam so I'd turn it down a little bit just to give you a chance to build up that brush and I'm just going to draw attention to this area here and I'm going to click new you see there's an editing pin so I can always click back on this brush to change it if I want to Let's click new and I'm going to go for heavenly glow new and uh, let's go for portrait softness I would like to soften down his skin a little bit here new we can use dark deep so I'm going to use this to start darkening gently darkening some of these edges here I'm using the scroll pad on my mouse to make the brush bigger and smaller if you want to paint the brush off a certain area, you can simply hold down Alt on your keyboard and you will see you get a minus um, in the crosshair rather than a plus, so you can paint it away if needed. So I'm just slightly darkening these areas. Hit New again. Make sure you hit New every time you want to try a new brush. Portrait softness. I'm just going to use a little bit more of this on the skin here new and I think I'm going to go on calm the tones just because Noah looks a little bit glowy so I'm just using that to calm those tones a little bit and because this was a natural moment I'm not going to go overboard on the edit but we can see there before and after but of course you can push this um, as much or as little as you want to you can also take it over to Photoshop, which I'm going to do now, um, because I want to add some bubbles. If you've got the On One Lightroom plugin, you can do this directly in Lightroom. Um, I think they offer a free 30-day trial, so if you don't use Photoshop, you can add overlays and things like that using the On One plugin. I'm going to right-click, edit in Adobe Photoshop, and this is going to take it over to Photoshop. I'm going to choose Edit a Copy with Lightroom Adjustments. This is just opening up in Photoshop. So I'm going to come up here, File, Place Embedded, and I'm going to choose one of the bubble samples that comes with this pack. I'm going to choose, say, this one, and hit Place. You will notice it's in a black box. So you need to come up here on the Layer panel. If you can't see your Layer panel, click Window Layers, and you will see it here sitting above your background image and change the blend mode to screen. You can drag the edges out to resize the bubble and place it wherever you like. For example here, and hit enter. If it looks quite light, you can right click, duplicate, and it will make it look even stronger because it's placed one on top of the other. So I'm gonna do this again Set the mode to screen. And I'm just going to keep going until I'm happy with the bubbles. If you click outside the box, you can rotate them as well. And because these are layers, you will see that they are above your background image. So you can simply go on them, turn them on or off. To view them. Place another one. I'm just freestyling this, um, so I may go back and change these afterwards. If you've got a white background, the bubbles won't really show because in real life they wouldn't. These are real bubbles. Um, shot, they're not computer generated bubbles, so they're real um, and they will show up just as real bubbles do. What you may want to do is add some depth of field to your bubbles as well because um, they wouldn't all necessarily be on the same plane. Some may be blurred, some may not be. So this one here where it's a... Oh, let me change that one to screen. This guy here, where's that one? I'm going to click, filter, 
blur, Gaussian blur, and I'm going to slide this until the bubble is a little out of focus and hit OK. This will add kind of more of a real feel to your bubbles. And when you're done, you can simply save. And this will take the image back to Lightroom. And let's just load it up now. Takes it back to Lightroom as a copy. So you have your Lightroom edit there, the original which we created, Lightroom edit, and then some bubbles added in Photoshop. And you can carry on, go ahead editing this here if you want to. But do you know this image will be flat once it's come back out of Photoshop, it'll be flattened again. You can't tweak the presets that you originally had on there, but this is great for adding more presets and going in for your kind of edit phase two. That's what I like to do when I'm using Lightbug, Lightroom. So that's using the LSP Cherish Dreams Lightroom preset collection in Lightroom Classic for desktop, which is available in the Creative Cloud subscription, and also using the LSP bubbles that I've included um, with you in Photoshop. Um, and you can use the LSP, um, the LSP, <laughs> oh, excuse my rambling, you can use the On One plugin to add these in Lightroom as well if you don't use Photoshop or if you're unsure of how to use Photoshop. So we have before and after.